nothing? I have not. No, don't be ridiculous. I haven't been hanging out, like, just refreshing the app and <laughs> the Lego shop for weeks now, trying to find out what Lego Friends has got in store for us. Oh my gosh, for 2023, we already saw five sets, but oh my gosh, wait for this, I'm gonna tap in. Look how many new sets we're getting for. I assume this is for the whole first half of 2023. I'm going to assume there isn't a second wave released in March, but how good would that be? <laughs> Anywho, we finally get to see what the Lego Friends team have in store for us with the reboot with all of these new sets. Now, like I said, we've already seen five, but... This is just mind blowing. We've got eight new characters and so many new stories to tell. But this, this was very exciting for me personally because being an older builder, this is actually, yeah, this set, which is called the Downtown Flower and Design Stores, really long name, which I'm never going to remember. This has been aimed at 12 plus builders and it is obviously going to be a more complex build. It's going to fit in with the adult creator modular style builds, I think, because it's got flat sides. And it's also, if you have a look, it also has, which way am I going to scroll? Hold on. Where am I? Where am I? It has down here on the bottom... Look at these tiles. <gasps> Do they remind you of anywhere? Yes, the Main Street building from this year. So they already, there's those sneaky beggars at Lego Friends. They, they had this in mind already. So this is going to be designed to integrate with the Main Street building as well as an add-on. And you can, you can sort it around however you want it to go. Oh my goodness. There's so much to say about this that I don't even know where to start. <laughs> All right, so over here we have got a flower shop down the bottom and at the top is an empty apartment building with two of the new characters with Leanne and Ollie. Those are the right names? I think they're right. Uh, with boxes and painting and they are ready to move in because it is up to us to design the flat using, I assume, <laughs> the furniture that you built and is over here in this very, very funky looking modern shop. With the bed hanging on the wall. Gosh, I love this so much. There's so much I love here. There is so much to unpack, but I'm going to have a really good look at it all when when I actually build it. But look at this. Could we not have had this police officer who looks as though she's the same skin tone as Olivia? And I could have used her for Olivia's mum this year when I built Olivia an apartment. Could we not have had her a year earlier? No? <laughs> anyway, so you've got different designs, different styles of... Oh, look at the mushrooms. Oh my goodness me. Different styles of furniture that you can use to kit out the little apartment. And this one over here, look at that. That's got, that's like a Lego artwork. Those flowers up there. So that's very cagey. <laughs> this is so exciting. It's all so exciting. But this in particular, wow, there's just so much to do here. Cannot wait to get my hands on this set. Let's scroll back to the beginning and do these one at a time. So we've got Nova's room. Everyone was disappointed when we saw the first five sets released that we didn't see anything with Nova in it because she's one of people's fast favorites, I think. She's a YouTuber. She's a gamer. She's a little bit darker uh, and, you know, in personality style. And yeah, now we get to see her room. So hers is one of four rooms that are being released at the beginning of this year. And each of these rooms have got two of the new characters in them. So she has got a gaming setup over here with her live stream by the look of it. We've got a little ring light on the front uh, or maybe a camera. She's got a double screen going on, got a nice gamer chair. And she, she's got the wheelie dog. And look at that, she can change the wheels out, <laughs> the wheel colours. And her bed actually has a ramp to go up onto the bed for the little papa. And looks like her bed flicks up to hide whatever this is that she's hiding underneath. Looks like a mobile phone. So why is she hiding her phone under there? I don't know. <laughs> is she not supposed to have it on at this time? This is really, really cool. In fact, all of the bedrooms are cool. Like really, really cool. Let's have a look at Leo's room. Leo has got two of the boys in it. It's got Leo and Ollie. Oh no. Okay. So sorry. In Nova's room is Zach. So this one's got Ollie. Ollie is most definitely situated on the beach. He's got some really nice tropical colours for his bedroom, but nothing else like, hello. Hello, chonky cat. How are you? You're my new best friend. You're not only chonky, but you're grumpy. You're a grumpy chonky cat. <laughs> my life is full now. How good is this cat? Anywho, the rest of it's a lovely bedroom. <laughs> Uh, okay, so they're gonna be hanging out in this bedroom. Gonna look at it more in detail when we when we build it. Let's jump to the next of the bedrooms, which is Alia's room, and this is just the loveliest room ever. But hello, are they wearing pajamas? Do we finally have mini dolls wearing pajamas? Oh. Yeah, you 
yeah, we do. Huh, fancy that. Two years ago, around about this time, I made pyjamas for the Lego Friends girls because I'd given up. And finally, Lego has made some. This room is so cute. It's got a little trundle bed for the sleepover. There's a teapot with some tea and they've got... They've got, hold on, hold on, scroll across, scroll across. They've got a projector happening to watch whatever it is. It looks like a fantasy theme. Is this a hint that we're going to get a fantasy theme with mini dolls? Please. I don't need the elves back, but I want a new fantasy theme. I want a new thing. And we get to see the back of Alia's hair too here for the first time. That's not what I expected it to look like. It looks so good though. And look at this book. This book... So this book is in the Main Street building with a cover almost identical to this, but this is like the elvish version with, <laughs> with little elven ears on it. So the characters look almost exactly the same. They've only been slightly changed. Is this a deliberate graphic choice or is this a lazy graphic choice? I'm going to go with this being deliberate so that it ties in, maybe because all romance novel covers look the same. I don't know. Oh, they just slightly changed the characters. Anyway, this is a beautiful bedroom and I love it. Next bedroom, Leanne's room. Leanne, Leanne is hanging out with Autumn. And her room's got a little bookcase that folds down with the bed. She's got a brand new pet too, which is a recolor of, dang, forgotten the name of the little chameleon-y thing. Bruno, Bruni, Bruni in, uh, in Frozen. So a little chameleon-y lizard in orange with dots on the top. So cute. These girls have obviously been painting. They got paint on both of their clothes, which I just love. I'm yet to see any of these alternate expressions, but hopefully we're going to be seeing them as we go along because everybody at the moment is pretty smiley. Uh, so that's the four bedrooms. Let's jump back now to, there's so much to look at, to the skate park. Skate park has got a lot of new awesome things in it, not least of which a new character with a wheelchair de designed just for mini dolls. And this skate park's got the ramps in it that we've seen in the stunts stuff before. And I do love, look, hold on, hold on, let me click through. No, can't do it. Go to the side. Go. <laughs> look at Leanne's knee pads they're printed on I love it I love it I love the new printings there's just so much that is going to be so exciting about everything here plus it's got a lift they've integrated a lift in here for the wheelchair oh my goodness I need to stop and breathe at some stage we've seen the hair salon the cat hotel cat hotel this is so good I've been intending to make a cat cafe for so long and I reckon this might be my basis for expanding out on this look another chunky cat <laughs> in brown <laughs> oh okay yeah, I need to I need to just take a chill pill. Can't do it. Look at Ollie smiling so happily. Oh yes, I get to clean up all of the poo. I love it so. We need a stinky face. A face off. I'm cleaning up the stinky poo. Brand new characters in here. We'll look at them when we build a dog rescue van. This one's got Nova in it as well. This is so clever. In fact, the story that seems to go with this, let's click in. This seems to be where Nova actually meets her new puppy with the in, like living in a box so she rescues him and takes him in the dog rescue van with dr marlin i just read that on the thingy dr marlin and and the back of the van pops off to open up so that you've actually got a whole little play housey kind of thing too so such amazing design so exciting we've already done these two rooms dog rescue bike let's have a quick look because this one's a little one this one's oh you can pop the toddler and the dog in the back <laughs> that's a really big like back pulley toddler thing in proportion to the bike but I don't care look oh I'm so cheerful about having to clean up this poo my favorite thing we need a face to go with that <laughs> come on this one just blew my mind when I saw it because I just built a tiny home and now we have a tiny home coming on wheels being dragged behind this little car it's also got the chonky cat in it but look how good this is Millie saw this and it blew her mind. She wants it too. We're going to have to buy it. I'm probably going to have to buy two copies of it because there's no way that she's going to let me build it and then have her build it. So this is amazing. A little, like, the it is absurd. It is the most garish looking thing on four wheels that you've ever seen. So four wheels, probably more than four wheels. But it's so, so fun. It's really fun. Oh my gosh, that squirrel has a wink. It's a winky squirrel. Yeah, okay, I need to calm down. Not going to happen. So, mobile bubble tea shop, just a little one, but it's got two characters in it. And this one, she's got a new 
I love this moment. Look, bubble tea. I love this face. It's just a little bit quizzical. Still smiley, but tiny lifted eyebrows. There's so much stuff I'm missing seeing here. Oh, I didn't mention Leanne's. Nope, this is not Leanne. Nova's new pants. Uh, they've got the little turned up cuffs on them. So I'm wondering if the fact we've seen those diabolical devil, devilish <laughs> ear, like hollow ears on the bottom of the feet this year, on the bottom of the new leg moles, must be in a been in planning for these new yeah all these new leg molds that we are getting who oh, with these turned up cuffs and with the really long jeans too be interested to see what the bottom of these new feet look like whether they're just as cursed now what else have we not seen yet we've seen the international school autumn's house organic grocery store so the city got an organic grocery store last year well this year this one this one is the friends version Got a little shopping cart over here, but we've got a character with vitiligo. Check it out. So awesome. <gasps> Love this spill. There's so much happening here. Hopefully this is better than the city one. I haven't looked at the pricings of any of these, but they are all up on the Lego shop online now. There's, yeah, and I'm definitely going to be modding this and making it bigger. How cute is the gubble bubble? Okay. All right. <laughs> I have to breathe at some stage. What else have we not looked at yet? There's a couple of little ones. This one's a four plus one with a camping trip. This has got a brand new mold for the camper top. So you'll just be able to pop those two little top bits off and be able to pop people in. Um, I mean, it's designed for younger builders. Uh, yeah, uh, distracted much. <laughs> so distracted. Yeah, that's going to be fun. That's going to be fun. And a donut shop with two characters again. I just love how they always have someone to hang out with now. There's not one character in a set. There's always someone and a friend. I love it. Oh, look at his shirt. Look at the watermelon shirt. Okay, moving on. <laughs> no, I can't move on. <laughs> so, yeah, so this one's an easy build too. Got the donuts in it that previously came in only in the Lego Creator Modular, the police station, the, the adult build one. So this is, yeah, so awesome. Did I get to the end of these? I think I did. Now there are a few, let's just go and have a little look. There are a few new Disney sets. Uh, Disney princess sets, which of course I will be building. They're not revolutionary, but they're kind of cool and fun. I mean, they're definitely cool and fun. They're definitely aimed at younger builders, but you know me, I'm going to collect these for all the mini dolls and the little animals. They appear to have the most bizarre face prints going on. Their eyes are not only much bigger, but just a little bit too close together. It looks odd. I don't know. I'll be interested to see what it looks like in real life. IRL. So there's this one, The Princess's Enchanted Journey. There's another one of these little, there's a Rapunzel. I actually like the builds of these, even though they've got the, the, the gem base for the skirt. But I really like the builds of these. They're really clever and they're very useful. The gem, not so much, but the build is Aurora's Castle. So a four plus version of Aurora's Castle, but it comes with three mini dolls, including Maleficent, again in a different version. And I can't remember the name of Aurora's Prince. Is it Philip? I don't know. Uh, it's probably in the descriptor. E Philip. Yeah, there we go. So we actually get Prince Philip now. And Moana. Moana is here with her mum. This is so cute. Oh, so another Moana set. And I don't know how popular Moana is at the moment, but I love this. I love the color scheme. I love everything about this. It's just gorgeous. Oh my goodness, I'm running out of voice. Right, uh, uh, dots. There are a few new dot sets. Actually, there are only a couple of new dot sets coming up, which, I mean, I haven't been blown away by the previous year's dot sets. They're kind of recycling ideas. So these have got some interesting hangies off them. Um, some more interesting little printed tiles, but the actual sets that they're coming in are, I don't know, not terribly exciting, but hopefully we will see some new stuff coming out as the year progresses. Anyway, all right, but I mean, Lego Friends is the, <laughs> is the absolute winner this year. I am, oh my gosh, excited, mind blowing. I am ready. Bring on the 1st of January. And then I gotta hunt these down. Go and find a shop that's actually stocking them. Okay, right, breathe. I will breathe. Let me know what is the first set you want me to build on the channel. I will try my hardest to get that. Let me know in the comments. Let me know what you are looking forward to. There are the wonderful mix range of sizes here. So there's gonna be a nice range of pricing. 
Okay, must go have a bit of a Bex and a lie down and I will be back with more Lego news and all sorts of good things really, really soon. But oh, wow, must calm down. No, not going to do it. Okay, see you again soon. Bye.